Hi guys, welcome to Motivational Monday. So in honor of Mother's Day, I have my mom and my little sister. Um, so both of them have made separate appearances on Motivational Monday. Yeah. Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, mother. So my mom and I talked about financial oh, freedom yeah, for millennials. Apparently she forgot. Um, and then my sister and I talked about suicide awareness. But this is the first time the three of us will be on Motivational Monday. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. On Motivational Monday. Okay, well, there we go. Check the other stuff. Anyways, so we are going to have somewhat of an open conversation open about the, <laughs> the mother-daughter relationship. With that being said, my first question to you, Mommy, is is it what are the pros and cons of having let's start with having daughters versus what may be different for having a son? Like is it more difficult being that we're all females? Or do you think it would be how do you think it would be different if you were to have had sons? Well, being a single parent, I think, and this may be controversial. I'm glad I had daughters because I personally don't think that a woman can raise a man. She can love her son, but she can't raise him properly. It's just the dynamics are off. It's all about love. And with daughters, mother-daughter, it's about relationship just like it would be father-daughter, mother-son. So because I'm a mother of girls, I think that's better for me. Okay, given the circumstances. Correct. Okay. And you're easier. Yeah, catch up quicker. Sorry, the words are a little slower. A wee bit. A little bit. <laughs> Ever so slightly. <laughs> so that wouldn't have worked out well with my personality. So thank God for beautiful, brilliant, smart daughters. Thank you, Jesus. Seriously, <laughs> We didn't make enough tea for this conversation. We didn't make tea at all, and I'm really actually concerned. We should definitely have made some tea for this conversation. Okay, keep it up. We're gonna be good. We're gonna be good. It's too late. You already knew it. It's, yeah, it's it's done. Redemption. Good. So, Talon, how is it being the youngest? Like, what are the different dynamics that you might have experienced between like you and mommy, or like? The diff, I guess, being the youngest of of mommy, like how is your relationship different from what you may have seen from our relationship? Um, I think I kind of pick up the places that you and mommy don't have, and then like you pick up the places that me, that you and mo- that me and mommy don't have. There we go. Like so, you and mommy talk about like the shows and like music and like I don't know more. Um, cultural stuff well no entertainment not necessarily okay. entertainment i'm so confused okay hold on we get together. the confusion but she can see this is what i mean okay <laughs> no no we got the point okay but then i i kind of like pick up on the places where it's like uh going to go You look like you way back in the cut well, now. I'm even back, but you can see me. <laughs> She's on camera. But I think I pick up with mommy with things like um going to see like I don't know what would you call it like orchestral theater <laughs> orchestra <laughs> music. Yeah, that's what you mean because you just made up a word. Orchestral is a word. I'm I'm like ninety nine percent serious. Okay, well word. you look it up. <laughs> Okay. Not right now, sister. <laughs> Good grief. All right. What else? How about you, ma'am? Um, I think for me, being the oldest and ten years apart. we're ten years apart. I'm I ten think years older. You're twenty one years older than me. No, I'm saying ten years older from when I first became a mother oh, to when okay. I second. Oh, how was like? Yeah, you gotta make that more clear next time. <laughs> no, seriously, because you can't become a mother at ten. Just mm-hmm. saying. Technically possible. Oh, come on, move it on. Anyways, I would say what was different for us versus what was different from what I've seen of your relationship 
is more so I feel like we did a lot of growing together and a lot of learning together in that what? you were a new mom and like figuring a lot of things out on the go. Whereas I think those experiences How that, that together if I had to figure it out. Because she was you was there for the ride. Not. It wasn't but together. But she was still developing and growing. As I was a child growing as a, as a person. That's just like and you were growing you, as right? a parent. <laughs> no, your <laughs> character was thing. your character development was was developing at the same time her person was developing. Correct. But so when you say growing together, that's I as mean, if no, there are t- there are people who don't know anything and they both like trying to figure it out together. So there's a difference. But anyway, moving on. So you knew what you was doing the whole time? Yeah. So we were growing together. No, we weren't. I was growing and you were growing congruently. Which is together. Correct. No, together is we're figuring it out together. No, that's figuring it out together. You see, this is the problem, right? (laughs) What's the problem? (laughs) Y'all have all these dissected answers to these answers that ain't really answers. But then y'all think I'm crazy. But okay, we're good. Moving on. We got it. Grandma. You know she gonna watch this. I don't know why you trust me. She gonna have some questions. I got answers. Anyways, what were you saying, Tito? <laughs> <laughs> there were a lot of firsts, obviously, because I was the firstborn. And I think those firsts adjusted how you parented town. Which is fair, because you learned and you grew. I think. And that's what I meant by growing you, together. Like for example, yes, we are all gonna have our own opinion of this same example. I'm sure. Okay, so I skipped a grade. Okay, that is a good example. But because Talent. of what you said, is why I didn't have her skip. So they don't know the fact that you gotta explain the scenario to them, not just the lesson. Okay, well the lesson is don't skip a grade. <laughs> don't skip a grade. <laughs> so I skipped a grade. And because of my experiences, when Talon was faced with the same question of whether or not to skip a grade or put her in harder classes, ultimately the decision was to give her more difficult work within her grade because of the social aspect of but that wasn't those experiences. A, that was me taking your experiences yeah. as, no, I didn't get any bigger. She told me how bad it was for her. So therefore that was the decision. Right, so I'm not saying to any fault, I'm just saying... No, 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 meaning that I didn't learn anything from that. I asked you your opinion and valued it, Mm -hmm. which is, I think, different than figuring, like, whether you use Pampers or Loves, well, that's a lesson. You're like, well, a diaper is a diaper is a diaper. Learn that one, so put a diaper on her. (laughs) Now, that's something you learn. I don't think I want to know about this part. (laughs) I'm saying no, that's I'm that's something different. That's how you learn from the other one versus taking your feedback. But we still had different like growing up type scenarios, like how Tutu was growing up with music. I couldn't watch music videos. I'm still catching you up still on, can't. on. I mean, you can't either. That I... Well, she do because when we... but that had more to do with the time period because now you never told me don't watch music videos. There was none to watch. There are definitely music videos. Well, there. now at this point, I mean, I can't stop her. It's like like I could turn the TV because it's on YouTube all day long and all night long. But go ahead. Sorry. There are still movies that are iconic to the black culture that I still ain't seen. I gave her a list. I'm just saying. The fact that I have to spend my 20s catching up on movies. Well, that's because movies start doing, going downward and we were just not on the screen at that age when you became an adult and so they like now you have all the shows and movies from the 80s and 90s coming back in the 2010s and more so that just that's just a sign of the time you don't agree what was the one with um they just did the reunion one the best man yeah best man i watched that as an adult for the first time you should have have you seen it <laughs> Any other questions? <laughs> but only because they brought it back. I feel like here's my thing. I feel like because Talon is 20 years behind, they're more like replacing us where you're 10 years, I'm sorry, 
30 years behind versus so they're going back and mm-hmm. getting those things. And so you're going to have the same conversation with her kids because they're going to catch your old stuff. It's like a, dec- a decade kind of thing. I, see I hear you. Happening. Okay, thank you. That was progress, y'all. <laughs> We're on 10 minutes. You got some place to be? <laughs> here. Here with your daughters. <laughs> okay, next question. So, what I will say is first and foremost, I think you know this, but the world deserves to know. You have sacrificed so much for us. And for sure, without a shadow of a doubt, we appreciate that. Um, we probably don't show it as much as we could or should. You do. Um, yeah, you're supposed to. But go ahead. No, I appreciate it. Okay. I really, no, I really do. Because really do. I know some parents who don't have children like y'all. Oh, Jesus. I don't know. I, I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) That's all I'm going to say on that one, but okay. Um, But even on the reverse of that, like, I know people who have parents who aren't as involved or as engaged or... Hmm? She's using her psychologist. Ignore it. Um, And so I know I wouldn't be the person I was that I am had you not been there to push me, had you not been there to enable. always, um, hmm? Enable. Enable? Yeah. Encourage. Encourage. I think it's encourage and enable. Enable means you stop somebody from doing something. Right? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but no, to always challenge us, like, okay, what's next? What's next? Um, and that... Rockefeller Records. Oh, sorry. <laughs> is that what that is? <laughs> we get down, baby. We... I'm sorry, sister. Uh, I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. But no, and I really think like my drive comes a lot from seeing your drive. So you lean back in your seat. Not that far. <laughs> but no, I think a lot of my drive and what pushes me to constantly develop and grow and what's now become a whole company focused on growth and development has a lot to do with seeing your constant aim for what's next what's the next level and you celebrate those victories but okay um but not only celebrating those victories but then okay how do i make this better how do i improve how do i take it there okay. um so for that i'm grateful yeah. um to say the least and sometimes it was difficult feeling like you're not good the, enough but right that was never the underlying story the story right. was i know you're good enough and i know you're better than this and i know what you can do because i have a vision that i can see you mm-hmm. it's like i can see you and i can see you mm-hmm. if she looked like she was interested in this video i am i'm thinking you're looking like... I'm waiting for my turn to talk. Go ahead, talk. I want you, no, sister. Give me the talking. No, so since I can see you, I, I can't... With anybody, generally, but I'm more vested, of course, in you guys. Right. <clears throat> Knowing that there's so many layers more to go. And there's so much more to do. And you can do it. Right. And whatever I can do to make that easier is what I'm here to do. That's your, that's my job. What you need. You know, right. I'm I'm grateful that I'm in a better position 10 years later to be able to fund the dreams that I can afford to fund that I may not have been able to do to you. That's no slight to either one of you. It's just about positioning mm-hmm. and opening up access. So you get older, you get better, you get wiser. So you know to do things differently. Maybe that's the lessons you're talking about, but, you know, knowing that we had to figure out, I had to figure out how I'm going to pay for X, Y, and Z, and it got to happen. It's just not a choice. And you used to get mad about that. When I would say, I can't stop. I can't think about that right now. I can't. Oh, yeah. I can't. I'm sorry. If I don't, if I don't keep moving, 
your life was at stake. Yeah. And I think that's... I'm going to let my sister go. All right, sister. We'll, well circle back. I was going to take it in like a slightly different route, so you can... Let me hurry up. Uh, two seconds. I'm going to let you... Fi- no. <laughs> <laughs> um, But no, and I think that's one of the things that you and I differ from. Mm-hmm. I'm very much a feel mm-hmm. it, embrace it, pause kind of person. And you've always been a go, 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 go. I can't I feel it. Um, yeah. Kind of. No, I don't think she does. If I stop to feel it, it will cripple you. The weight of it will be so much. That's the difference, though. Mm-hmm. That's the difference between you and Kira. Because she doesn't believe If I crippling. don't feel it, then it will become crippling to me. And because I need opposite. to, for me at least... Okay. I need to process it and deal with it so that I can move forward as opposed to it being a cloud laying over my head and slowing me down. Happy no sweat movement. Because <laughs> it'll eventually trip you yeah, when you go to sleep. <laughs> and that's the difference. I think I'm somewhere in the, in the middle of that. Okay, sister. You had thoughts? I was just going to take like um, just like the type of mommy you are because... Okay. It's gonna be good. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> but like when I like see other kids and like other people and like how they think and like what they do, like I did like fifty eleven thousand sports and activities when I was younger. No, you did. I did. But you picked things. one. You found your. You found your. I found it, but I was doing a billion things. Okay, you mean activities. Activities. Yeah, activities okay. And sports and you recreational. Did. You did? She don't even know how much she did. ballet, jazz, archery, um, tennis, ice skating, gymnastics, cheerleading, ice skating again, archery again. <laughs> I'll probably get more. Oh, we're going to do the horse thing. Okay, go ahead. But I think what she's trying to say is, and correct me if I'm wrong, but not many parents... Um, place an importance such an importance on having well rounded children. And not even I that or my like, mom or <laughs> And you also like I did. give you gave us well, at least I'm 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 not I wanna over speak, but like you gave us the ability to like find our niche almost. Mm-hmm. Right. And most people when it's like I'm talking to people my peers and they're like, I don't know what I wanna do. I don't even know what I like and I'm like I've been dead set on what I wanna do for the past like five years at least. Because you were allowed to explore those. Right, and figure out what suited me best. Oh, oh acting. <laughs> that was one of them too. Right. It was an activity to me, but it was also like Yeah. And and that's a huge piece of it because like I think of people always ask like how are you able to be just involved in so much. I'm like, I've been doing this since high school. Like I've literally I cannot think of a time since at least high school where I wasn't involved in hundreds of things at one given point. And what it taught me was balance and it taught me how to juggle basically. Like I can't actually juggle. But I can juggle responsibilities <laughs> very well. And she's learning that now. Yes. And she's learning that and she's a junior in high school. So by the time she gets to college and gets to the real world, it'll actually be a a well-honed skill. But I think that comes from the generation that I was raised under. So I would likely guess that most of my peers, well, I'm not going to say my peers. I'm going to say people I was raised around or I grew up with. No, because peers could be anybody that's my age group, right? Oh, okay. Basically, I'm talking about people. I know, you know, I would assume their kids are just as involved, just as busy, just as active. But are they? Because the ones that I know are not. What about, um, okay. What about, um, Jay and Bezzy? They're they're different. That was boy, girl, mother, daughter, that mother, daughter, mother, son thing. But I'm saying mother, son. Brenner wasn't as active as I was. Right. So it's a mother daughter thing that keeps you on track to be calm because you have to take care of yourself. And mothers love their sons, as y'all have seen that happen. But and so therefore by default, their boys and April wasn't my peer. Oh. You see what I'm saying? So my friends that I was around, their children, I'm almost sure 
are busy or productive or achieving mm-hmm. because they were. But even yeah. still, that's still no. Small. Take that back. I got one example in my mind that I won't say out loud. But yeah, ahead. I was. I'm like going through the. Okay, we'll go. But that's still. But that's, that's how my mother raised me. People though. So. So is that nature or nurture? Peers, I don't know. I think it's nurture. Okay. I think it's both. Like you have to have the nature to it in order to nurture it. Nurture it. <laughs> I'll give you that. She's always been the mediator. <laughs> Maybe she should be in the middle. <laughs> Maybe. I, you know, I thought about it. Honestly, I did. Because she is actually our moderator. But, but we figured that out, too. But go ahead. Next question. I mean, I don't have a list of questions. I'm just talking. Did you have something? I was trying to figure out what she meant by that. Back to you. Okay. About you being the moderator? No, no the how we figured out why. Oh, that sounds hecka was a puppy. No, it was Well, we figured out that the... Anyway, move on. Um, no, it's for you. Okay. Knowing your children and how to read them. But go ahead. Well, I mean, we can get into that a little bit. Because I think when we were talking about earlier, as far as um, the differences in how our relationship is versus how your relationship is with talent. And I think one of the major differences is that you recognize we're not the same person. Yeah. And we need different things, too. Yeah. Um, and we needed to be parented differently. So, and honestly, really and truly, did I do okay with that? Yeah. Okay. What are you doing? I don't know. I don't know. What else she gonna say on TV, right? <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> nope. <laughs> but no, I will say, seeing that helps me as a manager. Oh. Okay. Um, because as you know. My my associates are kind of like my work children, mm-hmm. and recognizing they all need different things from me. Um, one of them really needs a lot of kudos and encouragement. One of them just needs to know that you trust them. Mm-hmm. Another one needs to know the it, the whys, the who's, the what, the when, the what, needs to know every detail about it, and then we'll deliver. And so, learning all of their different personality styles is actually productive because. Once I know what they need from me as their boss, mm-hmm. um, I can give them that mm-hmm. and they deliver. And I don't have to sit on top of them because like some need tough love, some need to be coddled. Okay. How would you describe that? Like, you, you could use that saying. <laughs> Actually, I was thinking about that. Um, so how I figured out Tierra was... Uh, Time person, just quality time. Just Our love language. My love language is quality time. How I figured it out? Motherhood. <laughs> 202. <laughs> 202. One day, now, I don't like mornings at all. I got up. I made her biscuits, which was her favorite thing. I smashed the butter. I put the syrup in oh, it. Me. This one. <laughs> I did I'm all that, person. got her up, went into her room. I said, morning, time to make the donuts. I'm all excited because I got up to give my daughter some special love. Because my gift is service. So I did my language. So parent tip, don't speak from your language, speak from theirs. So... I got in the bed, laid down with her, and I could have skipped all of the other stuff and just sat there and talked to her, and she would have been way happy. Unfortunately, I was disappointed by that point because she just blew my burst my little bubble, and that was that. This one, (laughs) I don't think the, I don't know what my aha moment was with her, with Talon, but. It more so had to do with just noticing she needed constant affirmation. She needed to be, she wanted to know if she did it okay, if she was okay. And that goes to speak to a whole bunch of things, but she's always been that way. She's very intuitive, but she needed to know that she was okay. So if she got in trouble, if this one got in trouble, whoopings didn't hurt. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we did that back in the day. (laughs) Didn't have to do many because... It didn't mean anything to her. It didn't matter. You could take anything away from her. It didn't matter. So what I found out, I think it was fifth grade. 
I found out with you, embarrassment was her thing. <laughs> like, that was fifth grade. I, I remember that. Right. So she wouldn't act right in school. So I told the teacher, I said, just put tape on her mouth. I can't do that. It's against the law. Well, he put it on mine all the time. That was change. <laughs> Long time change a lot. I said, I promise you, you won't even have to. Just put it on her desk. <laughs> We're not doing this today. <laughs> I said, I promise you, just put it on her desk. That all that's all you need. That's all you need. This one is upset. She would be used to be, I don't know. Ooh, teenage years. <laughs> Disappointment. If she disappointed you or let you down in her own mind, obviously, that was enough to crush her. So to let somebody down would be enough punishment. So, you know, you just got to figure out and talk to that language. And then that's that doesn't sound like love language. That sounds like punishment language. That's personality. Yeah. Your question was, how does the personalities show differently, right? Okay. She said love that's language? not love. That's punishment. <laughs> affirmation oh. your love language is words of affirmation i said that right she, she missed it she wasn't clearly. listening really i, mean, I was listening but then you just but then it got clouded right you just got <laughs> cut off so abruptly Ooh. yikes geez. but no i think that presents a, a really valid point as well like understanding what consequences work mm-hmm. are you wasting your time uh, really no, true. Just got beat because but and that was going to be it. <laughs> and, <laughs> Back to slavery. But go ahead. <laughs> Abort mission. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Like that, Wait. Like <laughs> I, I mean, how do you follow up after that? Like, next what am question. I supposed to yes. say? Next question. <laughs> she says it's like I have a predetermined list. I told her I didn't. You said guided. Talking. So guided meant that there was a loose list. <laughs> sister, are you coming back? <laughs> Hi, sister. Hi. <laughs> so, yes. being that you've mothered through both stages, being a young mother mm-hmm. and being a older mother, older mother, sure. Okay. What advice do you have to mothers? I would say, if you can, well. In my new informed and new enlightenment stage, I realize our communities are broken, right? But I think if we slow down, get married, do you know, do do the marriage thing. And this may be controversial as well. Sorry if I offend anybody, but I've been through all of it, so it doesn't matter now. I haven't been married, but if you're, if you want to be with somebody, get married. That's fine. Travel the world, see your thing. You used to get mad at me about that too. Um, we did. It was a whole graduation trip blowout. <laughs> Trust Wait, me. you had a graduation trip? Well, you, you were there. In Miami. And you mediate. That's the first time you had to mediate. Look, I can't remember all of that. I know. Now. So at any rate, um, I think you should take your time and financially situate yourself before we start having families because that's how we wind up in a cycle of scarcity. We get in a cycle of just getting by, trying to make it. You know, we just trying to make it and you just happy that you made it through the week. You happy you paid your bills, but that's not living. And then you bring children in and, oh, you don't think it impacts them, but it does. And, you know, the sacrifices you, if you are a great mother, like you try, you're aiming to be a great mother, they may not feel all of the bumps, but you will. And that means that's taking more time away from you, more energy from you that you can't give them. Mm-hmm. And so, okay. <clears throat> go ahead. I was going to say, it's like the conversation we had the other day. I don't care to share. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> about like the different parenting types and like why um just like this isn't based off of any research of any kind. It's our research. Right. This is Riley girl. (laughs) Um, and typically, um, black African American, American African, what, what have you, they tend to be like more, um, authoritative parent, like parenting styles, which means that you're just more, um, 
harsh, like, stereotypes. Not necessarily harsh as in, like, totalitarian harsh, but, like, just do it. Right. Right. Do it and get it done. Right. And there's not much wiggle room or anything about it. And then, um, other, other races tend to have more loose parenting styles, like, um, But the, um, what's the other Don't worry about it. Okay. So, uh, they tend to have looser parenting styles where there's more freedom and wiggle room and all of that. And more room for mistakes. More, more, yeah, more room for mistakes and less solid rules and follow my, follow my, my way or the highway. Because I said so. Right. But that is based cause, but that's, go ahead, you want to say that? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. And I think that's where, like, the kind of, like. Your financial, your financial impact, awesome. your financial lifestyle creates the type of parenting you have to be. Right. Because if you have to work two jobs or a job all day and night and that kid has to come home by themselves from school because you don't have aftercare money. Then you don't have the you, time to... Be- I need you to be okay. So mm-hmm. I need you to do what I say, the way I say, how I say, so I can know you're okay. Mm-hmm. And as opposed to the situation where you have more affluence, where you're not struggling, you're beyond struggle, you're beyond getting by, and maybe you're kind of okay or thriving. Now you have room to have more care and concern, and And you can relax a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And just more time with the child. Right, right. You don't feel like somebody can be home and or work part time or not at all. Right, Um, right. right. More flexibility because you have more education or more access. It is, and education doesn't have to be traditional, but it could be experience on certain things you love to do. If Mm -hmm. you're entrepreneurial, but you've gotten more research. Everything requires education. It's just what type of education. I'm sorry, I'm getting really. So I think if we, if I had something to say about parenting, I would not want my, I don't want my grandkids to struggle. So I'm doing everything now for my grandkids that don't exist yet on the planet. You know, that's not here Mm -hmm. and everything in their, in my power to make sure that they're prepared so we can change a generation later. Mm -hmm. They don't have to know the struggle. They don't have to know lack. They don't have to accept less than, which goes to self-esteem, which goes to trouble, which goes to violence, which goes to everything that you hear about in an urban community. They'll have access to it, as far as I'm concerned. And not just because of, not just from me, but because they're equipped too to understand mm-hmm. they we've all broken through the just getting by Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm over that sentence and thank you so if you're just trying to get by I'm sorry sorry not sorry it's real talk <laughs> so with that being said <laughs> um, well first of all thank you guys for being a part oh, of Motivational yes. Monday mm-hmm. um, I think it was a really good conversation and I hope it continues to open up the dialogue um one of the things that I cherish the most about our relationship is the fact that we can have conversations um, because not all parents um, welcome open dialogue, yeah. to say the least. So with that being said, I, I do thank you for that, being always able to have any kind of conversation and kind of going from there. Um, I don't know what she just said, but... Okay. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed Mother's Day. Um, for all the newer moms, for all the the, the seasoned moms, um, expecting moms, mm-hmm. ask for help. Yeah. If you need help, ask just, for help. Just say it. Because um, I'm sure there are plenty of people around who are willing to. You just got to communicate it. That you need it. That you need it. For sure. Um, but I think that's, I think that's a wrap. Well, thank you. And cut.